ಮತ್ರಂಗಷಟಾರಿ ಯೋಗಿ ಚರಣ ನ್ಯಸ್ತಾತ್ಮರಕ್ಷಾಭರ ಶ್ರೀಮತ್ರಂಗಷಟಾರಿ ವೀರನ ಗುರಾಟ್ ಲಬ್ಧಾಗಮಾಂತದ್ವಯ ಈಡಂಬ ವಿವರ್ಜಿತ ಶುಭಗುಣ ಭಾಂತ ಮಹತ್ವ ಚಜ ವತ್ಸ ವಿಭೂಷಣ ಭೂತವರ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸದಾಮತೆ ವಾಸ್ಯೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹಾದೇಶಿ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ರಾಮಾನುಜಾಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ನಿಗಮಾಂತ ಮಹಾದೇಶಿಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಆದಿವನ್ ಷಟಕೋಪ ಯತೀಂದ್ರ ಮಹಾದೇಶಿಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಶ್ರೀವನ್ ಷಟಕೋಪ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗನಾಥ ಯತೀಂದ್ರ ಮಹಾದೇಶಿಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಾರ್ಯಂ ಕರುಣಾಲಯಂತ ವೇದಾಂತಯುಕ್ತಂ ಸಮತೀತವಂತ ವತ್ಸಾಭಿಜಾತ ವಿದುಷಾಂ ವರೇಣ್ಯಂ ಶ್ರೀಭಾಷ್ಯ ಸಿಂಹಂ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ವಾತ್ಸ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಾರ್ಯ ಮಹಾದೇಶಿಕಾಯ ನಮಃ ಅಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಕವಿ ಸಿಂಹಂ ಅನ್ಯತಿ ಸಿಂಹಂ ಅಡಿಯೇನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಂಜನಿ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಟು ಬಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಿತ್ರ ತಾರಾ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಸಭಾ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಸರನ್ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಅನುಷ್ಠಾನ ರಕ್ಷಣಾ ಅಭಿಮಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾದರಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಶಿಷ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಎ ಪಿನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ದರ್ ಕಾಲಕ್ಷೇಪ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಫೆಲೋ ಭಾಗವತಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೆಲೋ ಲರ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಪುರಟಾಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಸ್ಪೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಮಂತ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ it marks the trinakshatram of many acharyas of our shri vaishnava sampradayam like periyatrumalai nambigal swami vedanta desigan brahma tantra parakala swami adivan shatakopa jiyar and tripudandai desigan based on our topic we will focus on swami vedanta desigan who is known as kavi simham the lion among poets and shrimad adivan shatakopa yatindra mahadesigan known as yati simham the lion among the sanyasis or the yatis and i consider it very fortunate and my bhagyam to have got this opportunity to explore and discuss this fascinating topic of kavi simham and yati simham as part of the shobhakrit puratasi mans sishya sabai in adin's talk today adin will try to do a comparative analysis of these two acharyas who have made very significant contribution to our shri vaishnava sampradaya Let's start by reciting their verses. It's quite interesting to note that the Taniyans of both these Acharyas are in the Anishtuk Chandas. Swami Desigan's two key Taniyans are as follows. Shriman Venkata Natharya Kavitartika Kesari Vedanta Acharya Varyome Sannidattam Sadahradi Ramanujadaya Patram Jnana Vairagya Bhushanam Shrimat Venkata Natharyam Vande Vedanta Deshigam Both these Thaniyans were written by his Sishyas, Shri Nainar Acharya Swami and Shri Brahma Tantra Swatantra Jiya respectively. Next, coming on to Adivan Shadokopa Itindra Mahadesigan Thaniyan, Keshavarya Kripa Patram Tishamadhi Kunarnavam Shri Shutari Itishanam Deshikendra Mahambaje Prapadyeni Ravadhyanam Vishadhyam Gunasampadam Sharnam Bhavabhithanam Shadokopa Munishwaram the second taniyan which go which was like prapadhe niravadhyana was written by chinna ammar who was the acharyan of adivan shadogopa swami it's not very common to see an acharyan write the taniyan for a sishya we could see a similar pattern in abhinava desigan's uh, abhinava desigan shri uttamur swami's taniyan adbhutam yasya vikrantam which was composed by uttamur swami's acharyan kuriyalan swami moving on to the birth of the two simhams something well begun is half done the kulam the gotram in which one is born itself is very important for to get a conducive environment for great achievements 
This is very true in both these acharyas. Around 750 years ago, Kavi Simham was born to Anantasuri and Totaramba of Tupul who hailed from the Vishwamitra Gotram. It is worth noting that Vishwamitra played a very significant role in Ramayanam in the arrangement of Sita and Ram's wedding. And after the wedding, he did Sharanagadi at the lotus feet of Sita Ram. Swami Desigan's avataram was to spread the concept of Sharanagadi as followed by Swami Ramanujar. So it's very apt to see Swami Desigan born in Vishwamitra Gotram. Moving on to Yati Simham, around 630 years ago, Yati Simham was born to Kidam Keshavacharya and his Dharma Patni who lived in Melkote and they hailed from the Atreya Gotram. People from Melkote were known for their acharam, anushtanam, and unshakable bhakti towards Narayanan. They were examples of Marandum Puram Tharada Mandargal. And the people from Atreya Gotram are given the first respect, Mudal Mariyadai, during Yagams and Yagyam as per Shastram. So, in such auspicious place and a very great Gotram, the birth of Yati Simham happened 630 years ago which was 10 years after Swami Desikan's Avatara Purti. Moving on, in the month of Puratasi, Swami Desikan was born on Puratasi Shravanam and Yati Simham was born on the Puratasi Ketai, which is also known as Jeshta Nakshatram. That's why we say Uttamamana Puratasi Tiruvonam Yenam Nale for Swami Desikan and we say Puratasi Ketai Denil Puviyudithon Vardiye for Adivan Shatagopa Swami. Puratasi month was also known as Bhadra Padamasam because it bestows all Mangalam, not just to the Acharyas or the child who is born, but it has bestowed Mangalam through these Acharyas for this entire world. And that too, these Acharyas were born on the Tirumalayappan Brahmotsavam time. So during Tirumalayappan's Brahmotsvam, on the Tirthavari was Swami Desikan's birth and on the fifth day, the Garuda Seve was the birth of Srinivasan, our Ad, uh, Yati Simham, who is later going to travel to Garuda Adri, which is quite interesting to note. That's why we say, when we talk about Swami Desikan's uh, birth, we talk about saying that, Bhadrapada Masagata Vishnu Vima Lakshe Venkata Mahitra Pati Thita Dhina Pute Pradura Baba Jagati Dhaitya Ripu Ghanta Hanta Kavitarkika Mrigendra Guru Murtya. So, Sante Sigan is none other than Thrumalyapan's Ghantavataram, and he was born during Thrumalyapan's Brahmotsavam, and our Yati Simham was also born during Brahmotsavam. Next, moving on. Looking at the stages of the newborn, the parents were attracted and even the people in that particular village were attracted and a grand naming ceremony was conducted. The child at Tupul was named Venkatanadan since he was the Gantavataram of Thirmalayappan. Thirmalaymal Thirmaniyai Sirakkavandon Variye. I'm sure you all would have seen the great episode of Anantasuri and Totaramba traveling to Thirmala where she dreamt of swallowing Thirmalayappan's Kantai. Moving on to Melkote, Keshavacharya considered that their son was born due to the Anugraham of Lord of Seven Hills, Srinivasan. And hence, he named his son Srinivasan. Yati Simham is considered to be an avataram of Nrsimha of Ahobilam. How do we know this? Inchimeda Srimad Aragi singer, in his Vyakyanam called Sarabodhini for Srimad Rahasya Tresaram, gives us a beautiful slogan about Adivan Shatakopa Jiyar, where he explains that it is Nirsimhan who came down as Adivan Shatakopa Jiyar to do Aradhanam for himself. The slogan goes like this Kale Esmin Shri Nrsimha Swapada Kamala Samsevana Dhyana Puja Yogyan Anyana Drishtvara Guvaranayataha Swarchanaya Virasit Adivan Shatadvit Yati Tanuriti Yes, Samyag Utprekshito Bhut, Jiyat Soyam Rikanti Rava, Pada Parichar Yaika Santushta Chittaha. In this slogan, in this Thaniyan, Injimeda Srimad Aragi Singer explains that, like how Ram did Aradhanam for himself, that is Ranganadan, Nrsimhan took birth as Yati Simham to perform Aradhanam for himself. Moving on in talking about Kavi Simham and Yeti Simham, 
Let's see if the, about the prophecy regarding the birth of these two simhams. The acknowledgement and recognition from our elders carry significant importance. It's truly fascinating to discover that the Arvans have foretold the arrival of Swami Vedanta Desigan in their Nalaira Divya Prabandham Pasurams and Swami Desigan himself foresaw and hinted about the birth of Yati Simham Adivan Shatapopajiyar. Nammarvar in his Thiruviruttam Pasuram 26, which starts as Nanilam Vaikundu, explains that Appoon Tenilam Solei Appaladu Yappalaikum Semathade. In this particular Pasuram, to cross the lands of Kurunji, Mullai, Nedal, Parut, Marudam and Palai, which are symbolized Samsaram, in order to reach a beautiful Solei, which is Thiruttanka, Thupul, in which it is going to do good to all because the doctrine of Sharanagadi is going to be spread by Swami Desigan who is going to be born in Thiruttanka. Next in Thirumangayarva's Periya Thirumuri, Pasaram which goes like Punnai Mamaniyai Ani Arndador Minnai Venkatattu Uchiyir Kandupol Ennai Aludai Eesanai Embiran Tannai Yam Sendru Kandum Tankavile here, it is hinted in this Pasuram that Venkatattu Venkatanadan is going to be the one who is going to be born as Venkatanadan at Thiruttamka. Next, moving on to another Pasuram by Kalyan himself again in Thirunedan Dandagam, which starts as Mulaikkadirai Kurunguduyul Mugilei Muva. In this, it's quite interesting to note that in this Pasuram, Kalyan talks about the birth of a Madakkili. He says, Vilakkoliyai maradagattai tirutthankavil vekkavil tirumalai padu ketu vadattadanal payanpetrein varugai enru madakkiliyai kaikoopi vananginale says Kalyan. It is quite interesting to note that in this particular pasaram, Kalyan not only hints the birth of Swami Desigan, but also lists all the grantham which Swami Desigan would be authoring. Sri Apian Swami has detailed this particular pasaram in his Sharanagadi Deepika Upanyasam and I would really request all viewers to go and check it out. Next, moving on to the birth prophecy about Adivan Shadakopa Swami, Shri Swami Desigan in his Srimad Rahasya Tresaram in the chapter called as Mubukshutvadigaram talks about Adivan Shadakopa Swami's birth. This particular chapter talks about Mumukshu. So who is a Mumukshu? Mumukshu is one who is looking forward to attain moksha. The person who is not interested in moksha is known as Bubukshu, who will be enjoying the samsaric pleasures, while Mumukshu is one who will be looking forward to attain liberation. Here in this chapter, Swami Desikan concludes with a beautiful slogan which goes like this. Vishamadu Bahish Kurvan Dhiro Bahir Vishayatmakam Parimita Rasaswatma Prapti Prayasa Parangukaha Niravadi Bahananda Brahman Bhuti Kutuhali Jagati Bhavita Daiva Kaschidjihasita Samsrutihi. In this slogan, Swami Desikan hints that. In near future, in near immediate future, as in the word Bhavita, an Ayratil Uruvan, Jagat Kaschit, will be born. Who is that Ayratil Uruvan? He is the one who is going to stay away from Aishwari Anubhavam of Samsaram, which is like a honey but mixed with poison, and who is going to stay away from Atma Anubhavam and just be focused in Bhagavat Anubhavam. He is none other than our Adivan Shatagopa Jiyar, who took sannyasam at a very young age and was focused in Bhagavat and Bhagavata Kainkaryam. Isn't it interesting that our Kavi Simham has hinted about our Yati Simham? So the two Simhams are born and they all became, they both became young scholars who learned everything at the age of 20. The parents gave very conducive environment. Sandalwood is considered to emit its fragrance once it is grown as a big tree, while Tulsi plant is supposed to emit the fragrance even when it is as a small plant. 
Similarly, these two young boys were Ekasantakrahis who learned everything at a very young age from their teachers. Venkatanathan was tutored by his maternal uncle, Kidambi Appullar, who was a sister of Nadadu Rammar, who was also known as Sri Vatsya Varadaguru, the great scholar from Srivatsa Gotram and Nadadur Vamsam. Srinivasan, on the other hand, was tutored by his father Keshavacharyar and later was sent to Kanchi and was tutored by Chinnamal, who was also known as Gadigasatamal, the grandson of Nadadurammal. So thus, Venkatanadan and Srinivasan got the anugraham of people from the Nadadur Vamsam and the Periyammal, Nadadurammal and the Chinnamal, Gadigasatamal had showered their complete anugraham both on Swami Desigan and on Adi and Shadogopa Swami, respectively. That's why we say Panbudaya Ammaltan Parivudayon Vadiye in Adi Guru's Vaditranama. The young scholars learnt everything from their Acharyas and they were leaving, leading a very sattvic life during their stay at Kanchipuram. During that, during that time, there was some travel that has been ordained by Paramatma himself. Peri Perumal of Sri Rangam sent an Yamanam that Venkatanada need to travel from Kanchi to Sri Rangam in order to establish our Sampradayam in line with Swami Ramanuja's doctrines. Similarly, Peri Peri Perumal, who is Narsiman himself, sent an Yamanam that Srinivasan, who was living in Kanchi, he need to travel to Ahobilam in order to establish our Ahobilam Adam in line with the wish of Srinivasan. Thus, the travel from Kanchi to Srirangam by Venkatanadan and Kanchi to Ahobilam by Srinivasan changed not only their future but the future of our Sampradayam itself. Swami Desigan is considered to be the avataram of Nammarva and Swa Swami Ramanujar. While Adivan Shadogopa Swami is considered to be the avataram of Swami Desigan himself. It is also quite interesting to note in Adivan Shadogopa Swami's Thaniyan Prapadye Niravadhyanam, which, say, which ends as Shatakoba Munishwaram, in which it is told that. Adivan Shadagopa Swami is none other than Ramanujar and Namarvar. Shatakopan is Namarvar and Munishwaram is Ramanujar himself. So thus, Swami Tesigan was avataram of Namarvar and Swami Ramanujar and Adivan Shadagopa Swami was an avataram of Swami Tesigan himself. Not just the Anugram of Perumal and Acharyas, both these young scholars also had the Anugraham of Pirati. Swami Desigan is hailed as Kanjat Tirumangai Ugakkavandon Variye. And we all know about the golden showering episode where Pirati's Anugraham is showered to Swami Desigan. Similarly, on the other hand, Yati Simham, who travelled to Ahobilam, Sanyasam, that too, from Nusiman himself. Yes, Ahobilam means caves where lions live. One Simham, who is Nusimham, gave the Niyamanam and summoned another Simham, who is Yati Simham, to come to Ahobilam, the residing place of Simhams. Here, it's not just Nusiman, Adi Guru had the Anuraham of Pirati as well. And that's why it was Madhula Narsiman who was ready to come and travel along with our Adi Guru, Sri Shatakopa Jiyar, all over in order to spread the Sampradayam and also to perform Sharanagadi so that people in this world would get Ujjivanam. Okay, all the, the two scholars, what did they do is the next question. Ramanujar was the stapakar of the Siddhantam called as Vishishtadvaita Siddhantam. On, uh, when it comes to Swami Desigan, he was the stapakar of Dravida Vedam, which was sung by Arvars. That's why we say 
செஞ்சொல் தமிழ் மறைகள் தெளிந்துரைப்போன் வாழியே வக்குழாபரண பெருமாள் தமிழின் வாசியறிந்திட நாள் ஒய் டு வி சே தட் தே வாஸ் எ டைம் வென் திராவிட வேதம் some trouble and was not given permission to be recited in the temples in Sri Rangam. It was Swami Vedanta Desigan who did Stapanam of Dravida Vedam, which was sung by Alvars. So Ramanujar established the Sampradayam. Swami Desigan did the Stapanam of Dravida Vedam, which was sung by Alvars. So what did Adi Guru establish? Adi Guru established Alvar himself at Alvar Tirunagari. while adi guru was staying in ahobilam he was given the namanam by nirsimhan and alvar himself to come to all the way to tirunagari in order to establish and do the sthapanam of alvar namalvar himself at alvar tirunagari today we enjoy namalvar at alvar tirunagari it's only because of our adi guru our yati simham ஆதிவன் ஷடகோப சுவாமி நாட் ஜஸ்ட் ஆழ்வார் ஆதிவன் ஷடகோப சுவாமி ஆல்சோ டிட் தாபனம் ஆஃப் சுவாமி தேசிகன் சன்னதி அட் ஆழ்வார் திருநகரி ஆஸ் பர் த நியமனம் ஆஃப் நம் ஆழ்வார் தீஸ் ஆர் வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல்லி எக்ஸ்பிளைன்ட் பை ஸ்ரீ ஏ பி என் சுவாமி இன் ஹிஸ் புக் கால்ட் இஸ் ஆதி குரு வேர் த ட்ராவல் ஆஃப் ஸ்ரீனிவாசன் ஃப்ரம் காஞ்சி டு அஹோபிலம் அண்ட் ஃப்ரம் அஹோபிலம் டு Alvar Tirunagari is beautifully explained. Do check them out. So what else they do it? How did they establish the Sampradayam? What did they do to the Sampradayam is the next question. We all know our Sampradayam is based on Vedam. The Vedam given in a capsule is nothing but the Brahma Sutram. And the Bhashyam for Brahma Sutram is Sri Bhashyam. Sri Bhashyakara Swami Ramanujar appointed four Simhasanadi Bhadis to spread Sri Bhashyam named as Pirukurugai Piran Pillan, Nadadhur Alvan, Madapalli Achan, that's Kidambi Achan and Mudali Andan. And one of the commandment of Sri Bhashyakara was that Sri Bhashyati Vasittum Pravartipittum Inbade. That's the first commandment of Swami Ramanujar. So here, going by this particular commandment the important goal of every shri vaishnavas or every sishyas of swami ramanujar is to do shri bhashya kalakshebam and shri bhashya kalakshebam is cannot be started without the taniyan of these two acharyas that is shri man venkata natarya taniyan and prapadyeni ravadhyanam taniyan this is the reason we say swami desigan that திக்கெட்டும் புக ஸ்ரீ பாஷியத்தை தெளிய உரைத்திடுனால் ஃபார் சுவாமி தேசிகன் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் சுவாமி தேசிகன் வி ஆல் ஹாவ் அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் சுவாமி ராமானுஜர் சுவாமி தேசிகன் இன் ஹிஸ் சங்கல்ப சூரியோதயம் எக்ஸ்பிளைன்ஸ் தட் சாரீரக பிரவச்சன விரதத்தை சரீரம் உள்ளவரை ஆதரத்தோடு நடத்த வேண்டும் விச் மீன்ஸ் தட் ஒன் நீட்ஸ் டு ஸ்ப்ரெட் த ஸ்ரீ பாஷியம் டீச் ஸ்ரீ பாஷியம் அண்ட் லேர்ன் ஸ்ரீ பாஷியம் till he lives in this particular bhumi and that's why swami desigan did close to 30 plus avruti of shri bhasha kalakshebam and almost 27 avruti of shuta prakashika and also released a souvenir tatva tk which is a commemoration volume of his shri bhasha kalakshebam swami desigan was actually given the title vedanta acharya Swami Desigan also wrote Adhigarana Saravali, which is nothing but a set of verses on Sri Bhashyam. And he says in that particular Grantham that just after doing this particular Adhigarana Saravali, I got the complete meaning of getting the title Venkata, Venkata Acharya, Vedanta Acharya from Sri Ranganathan himself. Thus, today, if we have Sri Bhashyam, it is only because of Swami Desigan, who saved Sri Bhashyam during the Turkish invasion at Sri Rangam and took it all the way to Satyagalam, taught it to his Sishyas and then ensured that the treasure called Sri Bhashyam has been saved for generations. Moving on to our Yati Simham, 
பிஹேல் எதிசமம் ஹாஸ் பாஷ்யத்தை பல காலம் பகுத்துரை போன் வாழியே சோ சுவாமி ராமானுஜர் கேவஸ் ஸ்ரீபாஷ்யம் சுவாமி வேதாந்த தேசிகன் கேவஸ் ஹவு டு லேர்ன் தட் பர்டிகுலர் ஸ்ரீபாஷ் ஸ்ரீபாஷ்யம் he protected it by writing so many commentaries and so many avrutis of kalakshebam has been done and he has taught it to his sishyas now what did adi guru do it adi guru on the other hand spread and ensured that the sri bashyam and the sri vaishnava sampradayam flourished among the masses that's why we say bashyate palakalam pagutture pon vaaliye If Swami Ramanujar has established our Sampradayam, Swami Desikan protected the Sampradayam and it was our Adi Guru who spread the Sampradayam and ensured it flourished among the masses. It was not just Shri Bhashyam, it also applicable to Namarvars and the Arvars Prabhandangal. Swami Desikan is hence hailed as வகுளாபரண பெருமாள் தமிழின் வாசி அறிந்திடுநாள் அண்ட் ஹி கேவ் அஸ் திரபிடோபனிஷத் தாத்பரிய ரத்னாவளி அண்ட் திரபிடோபனிஷத் சாரம் அண்ட் நிகப பரிமளம் விசார் கமெண்ட்ரீஸ் ஃபார் நம்மாழ்வார்ஸ் திருவாய்மொழி ஆன் தி அதர் ஹேண்ட் யதிசிம்ஹம் ஆல்சோ கேவ் அ கிரேட் கான்ட்ரிபியூஷன் ஃபார் நம்மாழ்வார்ஸ் திருவாய்மொழி அண்ட் நாலாயிரம் பாசுரம்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஆழ்வார்ஸ் தட்ஸ் வை வி சே தன் புகழ் சேர் மாரனுரை சாட்டிடுவோன் வாழியே இந்த ஆல்சோ சே அகலாமே மாரனுரை அறுத்தமுடன் அறைவர்க்கும் தகவாலே உரைக்கின்ற தன்மையுள்ள மாமுனி வென் வி ஹேல் த மாமுனி ஆதிவன் சடகோபஸ்வாமி இட் இஸ் குவைட் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் டு நோ தட் த பகவத் விஷயம் காலக்ஷேபம் ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் வித் ரெசிட்டேஷன் ஆஃப் கேசவாரிய கிருபா பாத்திர தனியன் ஆஃப் ஆதிவன் சடோகோப சுவாமி அண்ட் ராமானுஜதயா பாத்திரம் தனியன் ஆஃப் சுவாமி வேதாந்த தேசிகன் ஆதிகுரு பிருந்தாவனம் இஸ் தேர் அட் மேல்கோட்டே அண்ட் த மண்டபம் விச் இஸ் தேர் இன் ஃப்ரண்ட் ஆஃப் ஆதிகுரு பிருந்தாவனம் இஸ் நோன் இஸ் பகவத் விஷய மண்டபம் த பிளேஸ் வேர் பகவத் விஷயம் வாஸ் ஃபிளாரிஷ்ட் அண்ட் தஸ் அ ட்ரீ விச் இஸ் நான் அதர் தேன் namarvar himself thus be it shri bashyam or be it dravida vedam both our kavi simham and yati simham have ensured the protection and have also spread it to the masses moving on to shrimat rahasya tresaram which is a one stop solution to understand swami ramanuja sampradayam swami desikan's work which is shrimat rahasya tresaram was in fact taken to the masses by adi guru the, our uh, mm, was taken to the masses by our adi guru shivan shatakope tindra mahadesikan that's why we say rahasya tre saratin rasamurai pon vaaliye when we hail our adi guru and we also say that rahasya muputti randum rasitturai pon vaaliye it is told that our adi guru enjoyed and teaching rahasya tresaram to his sishyas and ensured that not just the shrimat rahasya tresaram and also the 32 chillare rahasyams of swami vedanta desigan and the 32 brahma vidya which was detailed in shri bhashyam of swami ramanujar were taken to the masses so thus by spreading the sampradayam to the masses they established our sampradayam because of which we are enjoying the sampradayam today so when you say what is this sampradayam what is this sampradayam crux what is it talking about the crux of our shri vaishnava sampradayam is sharanagadi shastram vedam explains that prapatti is the only way for salvation and dravida vedam of arvar also details the same shri vaishnava sampradayam's usp is sharanagadi shastram Shri Bhashakara Swami Ramanujar gave us a theory and practical explanation of Prapati Shastram. All his works details the theory of Sharanagadi Shastram and the practical implementation was demonstrated by Udayavar Swami Ramanujar on a Panguni Uttaram. 
Swami Desigan detailed the Prapati Shastram, which was told by, explained by Swami Ramanujar. And he led by himself, by being a Prapannan and explaining about Sharanagati Shastram in all his 120 plus works. Adi Guru, on the other side, traveled all over the villages, even Grami Grami, to ensure that the practical implementation of the Sharanagadi Shastram reaches the masses. So Adi Guru did his Sancharam with the Sanchara Lolan, who is none other than Malolan, and ensured the Prapatti Shastram is followed by everybody and by doing performing. Pancha Samskaram and then Sharanagadi to all the Sishyas of Lord Narsaman. That's why we say Agavayil Uyirgal Uya Arun Padaitan Vadiye Agal Nyala Tavarariya Arunitan Vadiye when we hail our Adi Guru. What is that he gave? He gave us the sh Sharanagadi Shastram, which is Shadvida Sharanagadi, Aru, which also means path or the means to, main to attain moksham. So be it Swami Ramanujar, be it Swami Desigan, or be it our Adi Guru Yeti Simham, all of them have taken the Prapati Shastram to the masses, which is the USP of our Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya. We all know that Ramanujar is a Yeti, and Swami Desigan is a Grihastha, and our Adi Guru is a Yeti again. When we talk about our Acharyas, we are told that we are supposed to do the Divya Mangala Vigraha Dhyanam of our Acharyas. Swami Vedanta Desigan in his Yatiraja Saptati explains how we should do the Dhyanam of Ramanuja in his slogan. Upagita namurdva pundra vantam trijagat punya palam tridanda hastam sharanagada sartha vahamide shikaya shekarinam patim yati nam. This is how we need to do the Divya Mangala Vigraha Dhyanam of Swami Ramanujar, who is in the form of an Yeti. On the other hand, Swami Desigan is a Grahastha who is holding a Shri Kosam, which is Shri Basham in his hands. And how do we do his Vigraha Dhyanam? Which is explained in Tonda Rugakkum Tune Yadi Vadi Nintu Muruval Konda Mugam Vadi Vadi Vyakya Mudirai Kaiva Pan Tirinamum Vadi Mani Vada Mukpurinul Konda Si Tupul Kulamani Ye Vadi Nin Vadi Ve. So basically, Swami Desigan is in the style of a Grahastan and with a Sri Kosham, Sri Bashyam in his hands. So on one side, we have Swami Ramanujar as a Yati and Swami Desigan as a Grahastan. So how do we look at our Yati Simham, Adivan Shadokopa Swami? He is a Yati with Sri Bashim and Sri Matrahasya Tresaram in his hands. That's why we hail Yati Simham as Tigar Tirunul Tiruchigayum Vadiye Tiruvilachine Serda Tirutolgar Vadiye Ankaidanil Sikosam Varagudane Vadiye. So if we look at Yati Simham, it's like looking at Swami Desigan and also Swami Ramanujar. Before concluding, I would like to call out the titles, the Birudangal, which these two Acharyas were bestowed on. Swami Desigan was given the title Vedanta Acharya by Ranganathan, Sarvatantra Swatantra by Ranganachiyar, Kavitarkika Simham by the Bhagavatas who were at Sri Rangam. And also, Ranganathan told that Swami Desikan's Ramanuja Daya Bathram Taniyan need to be recited during the start of the Nalaira Divya Prabandha. On the other hand, our Yati Simham, he got the title Shatakopa Jiyar from Nrisimhan who gave him the Sanyashramam. One, as in one Shatakopa Jiyar, was given by Adi Nadan of Arvartirinagari. Adi in Adi Van Shatakopa Jiyar was given by Namarvar and Namarvar also gave the permission to do, use the signature, to use his signature, Sri Shatakopa Sri. Along with that, Namarvar also gave Hamsa Buddhirai, which is given to the, which was given to our Aragya singer. Arvartam Kripayana Hamsa Buddhirai Vadi is what we say that that 
the arvar's compassion had come to our arage singers through this amsamudirai other than that there was an interesting conversation which happened between swami desigan and adi guru while adi guru traveled to tirunagari and arvar was very impressed and hence gave the title shrimad veda marga pratishthapana acharya to our adivan shatakopa ji here not just that it is also ordained by arvar that the keshavarya kripa patram taniyan of our adi guru need to be recited before reciting even ramanuj daya patram taniyan ala by which we recite for our nalaira divya prabandha so to conclude both of them had great sishya clan and they ensured that they passed on the gen- sampradayam to the next generations in dayasadagam it is said that shrinivasan sits on the top of the hill and he is protecting the crop called sampradayam this is possible because he has some wonderful acharyas like our kavi simham and yati simham to accomplish this herculean task कविताकसिंहाय कल्याण गुणशालिने श्रीमते वेंकटेशाय वेदांत गुरवे नम नानिलमुमतावाणिसेगने इन्नुमूटाडीर ओंगुमलेवाग अहो विलमतावाटकोपन पावाग பூங்கமலம் தன்னை அனிதாராய் ஷடகோபமாமுனியே இன்னும் ஒரு நூற்றாண்டிரும் as i conclude this talk on kavi simham our swami vedanta desigan and yati simham our adi guru shrimat adivan shatakopetindra mahadesigan i would like to thank chitratara sishya sabha by saran and i will also like to thank my acharyan shri apian swami for guiding me to speak few lines about these great simhams again would also like you to excuse me for any mistakes and hope to see you all in another interesting discussions thanks for watching and this is adiyan shri ranjini chakanadan saran sevak and kalakshebha shishi of shri adiyan swami danyasmi